This Family TV Mass is offered by Achievers Fuel and Service Center Corporation and Planet Drugstore Corporation. Good day, dear brothers and sisters. We welcome everyone as we celebrate the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, the 15th Sunday in Ordinary Time, with a theme, Go and Do the Same. The Mission Communications Foundation Incorporated of the Society of the Divine Word, SVD, brings to you this Eucharistic celebration at the Salita Hall of the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word, in Christ the King Mission Seminary, A. Rodriguez Senior Avenue, Quezon City. Our Mass Presider is Reverend Father Alfredo Rolion Jr., SVD, and as one community and family gathered in Christ, let us all begin our Eucharistic celebration. <laughs> share the blessings of the Lord in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, sisters and brothers. Good morning, Father. We are gathered today to express our love to God to the divine worship that we have in this Holy Mass. However, there's a challenge to all of us to share the love of God through our actions, especially to our brothers and sisters. Many are the blessings he bears to those who trust in his ways. So let's trust the ways of the Lord so that we may love him through our worship and also to our love and care to our brothers and sisters. And with this, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and, and to, to you, you my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have, have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in, my words, in what, what I have done and in what, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, blessed, blessed Mary, Mary ever-Virgin, all, all the angels and saints, and, saints, and you, you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy.
Let us pray. O God, who showed the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all who, for the faith they profess, are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ, and to strive after all that does it honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Even before being carved on stone tablets or printed in books, the law of the Lord is already inscribed in our hearts. Like the Israelites of old, we must learn to put into practice if we want to enjoy the blessings of the Lord. The first reading. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, If only you would heed the voice of the Lord your God and keep his commandments and statutes that are written in this book of the law, when you return to the Lord your God with all your heart, and all your soul. For this command that I enjoin on you today is not too mysterious or remote for you. It is not up in the sky that you should say, who will go up in the sky to get it for us and tell us of it that we may carry it out? Nor is it across the sea that you should say, Who will cross the sea to get it for us and tell us of it that we may carry it out? No, it is something very near to you, already in your mouths and in your hearts. You have only to carry it out. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Turn to the Lord in your need and you will live. Turn to the Lord in your need and you will live. I pray to you, O Lord, for the time of your favor, O God, in your great kindness Answer me with your constant help. Answer me, O Lord, for bounteous is your kindness in your great mercy. Turn toward me. Turn to the Lord in your need, and you will live. I am afflicted and in pain. Let your saving help, O God, protect me. I will praise the name of God in song, and I will glorify him with thanksgiving. Turn to the Lord in your need, and you will live. See, you lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. 
for the Lord hears the poor and his own who are in bonds, he spurns not. Turn to the Lord in your need and you will live. For God will save Zion and rebuild the cities of Judah. The descendants of his servants shall inherit it and those who love his name shall inhabit it. Turn to the Lord in your need, and you will live. In highly theological and poetic language, the author of this hymn exalts the unique prerogatives of Christ. This is what make him our hope of salvation. The second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Christ Jesus is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him were created all things in heaven and on earth, the visible and the invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he himself might be preeminent. For in him all the fullness was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile all things for him, making peace by the blood of his cross through him, whether those on earth or those in heaven. the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We honor the Holy Gospel. of the Good Samaritan contained in today's gospel passage is an all-time favorite. It constantly challenges us and stimulates us to become neighbor to any human being that needs help without distinction of race, social status, or religious affiliation. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. There was a scholar of the law who stood up to test Jesus and said, Teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, What is written in the law? How do you read it? He said in reply, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your being with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. He replied to him, You have answered correctly. Do this, and you will live. But because he wished to justify himself, he said to Jesus, And who is my neighbor? 
Jesus replied, A man fell victim to robbers as he went down from Jer Jerusalem to Jericho. They stripped and beat him and went off, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down that road. But when he saw him, he passed by on the opposite side. Likewise, a Levite came to the place. And when he saw him, he passed by on the opposite side. But a Samaritan traveler who came upon him was moved with compassion at the sight. He approached the victim, poured oil and wine over his wounds, and bandaged them. Then he lifted him up on his own animal, took him to an inn, and cared for him. The next day, he took out two silver coins and gave them to the innkeeper with instruction, take care of him. If you spend more than what I have given you, I shall repay you on my way back. Which of these three, in your opinion, was neighbor to the robber's victim? He answered, the one who treated him with mercy. Jesus said to him, go and do likewise. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Matandaan nyo ang programang Batibot. Ganyan na ako katanda na, no? <laughs> Ang paborito ko doon yung Ako ay kapitbahay, kapitbahay nyo Laging handang tumulong sa inyo Kilala nyo ako, kilala nyo ako Ako isa sa kapitbahay, kapitbahay ninyo Nung una, sabi ko, ano bang sinasabi ng ating readings for today? The Gospel for today When suddenly, you know, this scribe asked Jesus about a question or a scholar of the law about the challenge of eternal life. And Jesus asked him in return. And he answered it correctly. Katulad ng mga ibang senaryo sa Ebanghelyo, sa pagbasa, nung si Pedro, tinanong ni Jesus kung sino siya. Peter answered it correctly. This time, now the scholar of the law answered Jesus correctly by giving us the heart of the commandment, yung loving God and loving neighbor. Kaya lang, of course, the question is, paano ito? Paano natin gaganapin yung loving God and loving neighbor? O yung loving God? It siya ba imamahalin natin through our worship? Siya ba imamahalin natin through our prayer? Siya ba imamahalin natin kung mag-aalay tayo sa Diyos? O kasi ito yung kanilang encounter with God. When they go to the temple, they have that encounter with God. Kaya nga, yung temple, isa ito sa mga elements na ikinoconsider nila na presence of God in their means. Anong araw kasi, pag may temple, there's a presence of God. Pag may priest, there's a presence of God. Pag may prophet, there's a presence of God. O kasi they all act upon the commandments or the specification or the task given to them. Temple is for offering and worship. The priest is the one who accompanies the people para sa pag-aalay ang propeta, sila ang nagiging daluyan ng salita ng Diyos. And so, with this, sa ganitong paraan, ay sapat ba ang kanilang ginagawa so that they can prove, they can say that, oh, mahal namin ang Diyos. And Jesus Christ surprised them by giving a very concrete example of how to love God and how to love our brothers and sisters. And then he gave them this um, parable of the Good Samaritan. No? Nung una, parang sabi ko, ang neighbor ba ay yung victim? O itong Good Samaritan? Hmm. Well, of course, there is an interplay of role going on. But here, we can somehow focus on 
the Good Samaritan. Kasi ito naman yung challenge na binibigay ng at, sa atin ng ating Panginoon. When He gave us the story of the Good Samaritan, how He helped the victim of a robbery, at ginamit pa nga niyang halimbawa dito, ang mga nagdaan sa harap ng naging biktima ng robbery na mga Levite and the priest. Ang role nila halos parehas eh. They're going to the service that they're asked to do. Kaya lang, ay, yun, nung makita nila yung naging biktima ng robbery na ito, ay naging hesitant sila. And Jesus actually captured one of the attitudes that we have when it comes to helping others. That's the one side. Oh. Uh, ang word namin dyan sa Cantonese ay mafan. Mafan na. O kaya pag dadagdaga mo pa ng mas matindi, ho mafan. O ano ibig sabihin nun? Troublesome. Ah, ho mafan na. Huwag mo nang gawin yan, ho mafan. Tutulong ka sa kapwa, ho mafan. Troublesome. With all the hassles that we have to encounter, ay may pagkakataon na wag na nga. Wag na tumulong. Is it worth it? Di ba? Kung halimbawa, tutulong ako sa isang nangangailangan. Oh, tama ba? May mapapala ba? No? But Jesus' point here is that the encounter with our brothers or our sister in need is actually rewarded by an encounter with God. Oh, ang isang karanasan ko dyan, nung minsan ako ay nandito sa may Tomas Morato, nagpagupit ako sa isang uh, posh na barberia. <laughs> At biglang, nung sisimulan ko na yung sasakyan ko, paalis na ako, may lumapit sa akin na isang pulube. Nangihingi ng limos. At ako naman, nagbigay ako ng konting barya. Ba't nung paalis na, tinawag ko ulit. I called her back. Kasi napansin ko, may tinapay nga pala ako sa, sa sasakyan. Actually, yun ay pamirienda pa nung ako nagmisa sa kumbento ng mga madre. May pauwi sa aking mamun, sa balot. Binigay ko doon sa namamalimos. At hindi pa nakakalayo yung namamalimos. Napansin ko, tumigil siya. Nagantanda ng krus. At nagdasal. At sabi ko sa Panginoon, sino ba ang naka-experience ng Diyos sa aming dalawa. Siya ba na namalimos? O parang hindi yata? Parang ako ang naka-experience ng presensya ng Diyos because of that beggar na ipinakita sa akin na everything can be appreciated as a gift from God through that act of prayer. And then I realized na tama si Bishop Lagdameo, nung minsan niyang sinabi sa isang gathering namin na kung gusto mong mapalapit sa puso ng Diyos, lumapit ka sa puso ng iyong kapwa. Sapagat ang Diyos ay nananahan sa puso ng iyong kapwa. And I believe that this is the encounter that happened with this Samaritan traveler who met his brother who fell victim to some robbers, that his action of kindness is definitely rewarded by that encounter with God. It may be home fun, no, to act or to help, but hindi ganun kadamat ang Diyos. At sabi ko nga kanina, kung in our divine worship, there is an encounter with God, God also rewards us with an encounter kung tayo ay tutulong sa ating kapwa. And so let us follow what Jesus has asked us. That yes, we want to love God with our whole heart, with all our being, with all our strength, and with all our mind. But it is always linked, lagi siyang nakadugtong, doon sa pagmamahal natin sa ating kapwa. And so, let us be neighbors to others. At huwag kayong mag-alala. Hindi kayo mawawalan 
ng taong maaaring niyong mahalin, katulad ng ginawa ng isang Samaritano. Our brothers and sisters are always God's instrument for that encounter. So let us show kindness, let us show compassion, and let us not be afraid. It is not mafan to help others, but rather it is an act of love because as we love God, we also have to love our brothers and sisters. Amen. We profess our faith by praying, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Our world is full of violent people who victimize the weak and the helpless. It is also full of individuals who do not care about the violence that makes so many victims. And so let us ask our Lord for the grace to be caring and committed Christians in our violent and callous society. And so let us pray together and say, Lord God, make us merciful like you. Lord God, make us merciful like you. For the universal church, may she be like the Good Samaritan in our time, bending mercifully on all the ills that afflict humankind. We pray. Lord God, Lord God make, make us, us merciful, merciful like you. For our spiritual and religious leaders, may they teach the faithful in words and in deeds to prioritize active compassion toward the suffering and the needy, we pray. Lord God, make, make us, us merciful, merciful like, like you. you. For all those who work in the medical profession, may they care for their patients with the same compassion and generosity shown by the Good Samaritan, we pray. Lord, Lord God, God make, make us merciful, merciful like, like you. you. For the peoples at war or locked up in bitter rivalries, may they remember that we are all children of the same Father, brothers and sisters of Jesus Christ. We pray. Lord, Lord God, God, make, make us, us merciful, merciful like you. you. For all those who find it difficult to accept as their neighbor those they dislike, May the teaching and example of Jesus be their inspiration and encouragement, we pray. Lord, Lord God, God, make us, us merciful, merciful like you. For the family thanksgiving prayer of Malu Agkawili, Luayway Mascardo, Grace Aquino, Romeo Milo Sr., Claire Esguera, and Ruth Pasqua. Birthday thanksgiving of Tessa Angelica Gumba, Elaine Lu Manawag, Anthony Ivan Gamo III, and Rowena Villamin. And for the healing prayer of Francisco Ong and Patricia Laureta, and a death anniversary prayers for Catalino Aquino Ong Guat, 
Ruth Cabato Honrado Samano Sr. and Vicente and Benedicta Ong, and for the eternal repose of the souls of Nestor, Rosalina, and Ex Alexander Agawin, Edwina Zabado, and Diane Isabel Mascardo. We pray. Lord God, God make, make us merciful, merciful like, like you. you. In the silence of our hearts, we pray for our personal intentions and all other intentions offered in this Mass. We pray. Lord God, Lord God make, make us, us merciful, merciful like, like you. you. Lord God, you are the divine good Samaritan who took care of sinful mankind that had been victimized by the devil. Look mercifully on all of us and make us instruments of your merciful love, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. sisters and brothers, may sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for, for the praise, praise and glory of his name, for, for our, our good, good and the good of all his holy church. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, and as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son. By his obedience, we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we to give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciple, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, our Bishop Onesto, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you, dear Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of God's peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Dear friends, behold our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am I'm not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, roof but, but only say the word, word and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. healed. act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Horatio Imperata Prayer Against the COVID-19 Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to, to end the pandemic in our country and the world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick 
with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for Saint us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray, Pray for us. San Roque. Pray, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray, Pray for us. San Pedro Calunsod. Pray, Pray for us. Saints Arnold Jansen and Joseph Frey Nadimitz. Pray, Pray for us. us. Holy Family. Pray for Pray us. us. Prayer for the unity of the family. God our Father, loving and merciful, bring together and keep all families in perfect unity of love and mutual support. Infuse in each member the spirit of understanding, forbearance, and affection for each other. Keep quarrels, bitterness, and pettiness far from them, and their occasional failures instill forgiveness and peace. May the mutual love and affection of parents be a source of loving obedience and discipline. May their chastity and fidelity be an inspiration for their children. Instill in children such self-respect that they may respect others, obey their parents and those in authority, and grow in mature independence and the tender joy of friendship. Make the mutual affection and respect of families a sign of Christian life here and hereafter through Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. On behalf of Father Bell San Luis SVD, executive producer of Family TV Mass, we would like to thank the following for making our Family TV Mass possible. Reverend Father Pablito Tagura SVD, Rector of Christ the King Mission Seminary. Reverend Father Alfredo Rolion Jr. SVD, our Mass celebrant and homilist. <laughs> Brother Nina Verzosa, our lector and server. Your commentator, Daryl Ibarra. Thank you. Special thanks to our sponsors, donors and benefactors, to our televiewers here and abroad, and our online audience, thank you. And also to our seminary staff and personnel, thank you and God bless us all. Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the prayer for healing and also the blessing. God our Father, you are the source of all goodness. You allow us to receive your Son, Jesus Christ, as our Savior and the Holy Spirit as our sanctifier. And so, Lord, send us the healing power of your love. Remove all the pains that we are experiencing right now, all the sick, all those who are suffering, all those in the hospitals, our frontliners, and those who are helping others through their service, especially in the medical field. And, Lord, we ask you to heal all our families, especially those who are experiencing difficulties 
in their lives and in their relationship. Touch their hearts and lead them back to your fold. And Lord, we lift to you all our brothers and sisters who are gathered today for this Holy Eucharist as they receive you through the divine word and the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. May they receive the protection they deserve from all harm, from all dangers, and from all anxieties. Through Christ our Lord, amen. amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go and be neighbors to our brothers and sisters. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Family TV Mass was offered by Achievers Fuel and Service Center Corporation and Planet Drugstore Corporation.